we get into the video people, I am giving away Destiny 2 Campile Elite Collection codes to win one, make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that notification bell ticks, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Good luck everybody. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to take a look at raid secrets including hidden caves, secret puzzles and much much more. Just generally discussing what's been found so far. Now I ain't sure if the raid is still accessible via the glitch, I know Bungie stated fixes are in the works, but I ain't sure if they have been applied yet. Also before I go any further, massive thanks to Dark Arm Games for some of the footage and helping me find some of these secrets, and Vans Boy 2001 Gaming for also dropping me some footage. Link to channels can be found linked within the video description if you'd like to go and show them some support. So everyone knows about the hidden raid chest, it was used by most, exploited to hell by others, but beyond this we got a small glimpse into this raid and what it will offer in terms of secrets, hidden locations and possible puzzles. I went in, I explored quite a lot, but the place was absolutely massive and it seems this is just the tip of the iceberg. So the main point of the raid we saw was this massive area seen on screen now, I think this is the place many of us explored. It was home to multiple levels and doors which when the raid comes out could be something indeed. At first I thought this could be some kind of raid social space where your team loads in and gets to work, maybe a kind of interval area, but in thinking that the raid glitch loads us into a place called the first spire and you can actually go back on yourself which takes us to more doors. Now the initial door to this massive area is locked. But you can get up here via scaling rocks. I think this here might be a place where we visit multiple different encounters, much like with the Castellum within the Leviathan, but it could be nothing at all. But yeah, I don't think this will be the starting point to the raid, but this place is massive that's for sure, home to numerous doors like I said which could lead to other encounters or just be there for show. The center of this place beholds a massive Oracle engine, same as what we see within the observatory. Is this of any importance? I ain't sure. I wouldn't say it isn't because it does kind of have some platforms you can stand on. Whether these are used to scale or for something else, we don't know yet. At the top of this structure there is a taken blood which seems to be tearing this building apart. Either that or this place hasn't been finished yet because design wise we can see trees are floating above the roots and many other things, super weird. So either this area isn't finished or as we know with the weekly changes to the Dreaming City, this place will also be slowly taken over, which makes sense and this blight is a big part of doing that. We will see people, we will see as the weeks go by. Let's move on and to this place here which seems to be some kind of hidden puzzle. Now this place I believe was a weird one to get to as what happened was, and this happened to a few people, including my pal. Basically, a loading screen popped up when people are trying to glitch into this raid area, and it caused a few people to die. They would then spawn into this area right here, which you couldn't get to prior, but I don't believe you could anyway, but I could be wrong there. This place is located when you turn back once you spawn into the first spire part of the raid.
to pick up on what I said earlier, it seems there is more before the first spire part of this raid which also makes me believe this massive team social area we saw won't be where we start or even close to it. But this secret location here has a kind of pad you can find which when you stand on lights up. This in my opinion definitely triggers something whether what it triggers isn't activated yet and won't be until the raid drops. I definitely believe something is going to happen with this pad. Maybe it unlocks a door to another chest as we know there are 10 chests within the raid. We can see this within the triumph page but this definitely is interesting for sure. Now if you guys have explored here more and have something to add let me know. If you progress further let me know also. This room though is definitely something of interest for me. But furthermore exploring we see within this location this place goes even deeper. What I actually think we are seeing here is the location before this last spire area. a door which leads to what looks to be another area of exploration but the door is locked and I'm guessing we can't get back until the raid drops Friday or maybe but I guess it would probably be hard to test but that panel we saw just if that stood on what happens to this door can you go back does it allow you to go back does it unlock a route we don't know but it's definitely interesting for sure Okay guys, so we're going to move on and on to this secret little cave that has been discovered. This is located left of the main area which beholds the Oracle engine. So if you come this way, jump left of this rock and we see this cave. If we go deeper we discover a lineup of cats and a weird plate on the floor. It beholds some symbols, we see birds, two headed snakes and other weird icons. So what does this mean and why is this cave out of the way, hidden around a small jumping puzzle? There is definitely something of significance here within this cave. Maybe these pads you stand on, maybe there are a few within the raid which you have to locate and stand on them all to activate something later on. Maybe there are multiple of these within this area which you all need to stand on at the same time and it opens a door to somewhere. There could be anything. It to me though makes sense that they offer something, maybe standing on multiple of these plates to get a door to open which reveals a hidden chest even. Like I said earlier we know there are 10 secret chests within this raid. Now I've seen people share pics of these plates but it wasn't clear where exactly where they were. Is it this plate they're sharing or are there others within this area of the raid? If you guys know of any more let me know down below within that comment section. But for sure guys I cannot wait until Friday where we get to explore the raid even more and discover other little hidden gems and secrets. But if you have anything else to add, things you found let me know down below within that comment section. You can always DM me on my discord which is linked within the video description. You can hit me up on Twitter at DPJSC08, linked within the video description, or you can just leave a comment down below within that comment section. 
But if you have found any other hidden little secrets, let me know for sure, people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And also, before we go, guys, every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be with the chance of winning it. Simply make sure you are subbed to the channel, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple, and legit, guys. But on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on the next one.